Let's continue the saga, mad, mad drama. I met this chick, she said she knew where ignorance was at. I said, where? She said, downtown. He had... I think the line is a setup, I can smell it. But ignorance is running rampant. I right, baby, show me the exact spot. Meet me at Quake and Skimmel. We're in the place they call the United Center. In Chicago, the home of the Bulls. Where today we'll be broadcasting live. Right, ready to go? Ready to go? Well, it was the Chicago Bulls winning their last game against. And they may have been on the road, but you know what? They nullified any home court disadvantage in that game by how well they shot it from three. Shooting can always be a great equalizer. I mean, when you shoot like that from outside, it really makes winning on the road a lot easier. Fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. And New York, looking at who they've got. They've got Porzingis. Calderon is out there with Aquala. Then there's Robin Lopez. And it's Anthony in at the three spot. And pushing it up, here's New York. Aquala's running. And that one hits back iron. McDermott with it. He's a good contributor to his team, averaging about 10 and a half points a game. I tell you what, he has quite the act to follow, but Fred Hoiberg was a quick choice for the brass in Chicago. Signed that five-year deal over the summer was easily one of the most in-demand coaches available. And now, just over a minute played here in the first. A kick out to Aflalo. Six on the shot clock. He feeds it to Calderon. New York needs to get off a shot. Zingas. Offensively, one of four to start. They're still 
they're trying to find their stroke. The Bulls have gone two or three here to start off the game. Rose passes to Gasol. Gasol with another miss. Yeah, look. It's his first job as an NBA head yeah, coach. Yeah, someone we play. He's been a part of an NBA front office. Mm -hmm. Clark, he came from Iowa State, where he honed his coaching skills and was highly respected. Yeah, dog, yeah, 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 yeah everybody went inside the play. I, I, hey, I, uh, I think I played week 11. Malik. Good job, Melo. This is, huh? Hey, son, I'm going I'm to play with the Knicks. Come on. There, strictly for the fans. The Knicks shooting their first free throw tonight. And they had really good numbers all season. From the hey, uh, World, uh, yeah, general, which week is it? I mean, free throw shooting isn't something they've had to worry about okay. too much this season, guys. Oh, that is just weak defense there. I'm pretty sure that was not the plan to give him those kind of baskets. <laughs> Hey, and I'm not with cool. Hey, hey. Hey. Get a wild boom, man. Hey. Bring a tool. Hey. And just so two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. And good on the basket. Hook it. Really aggressive play there, taking it to the rim. Aggressiveness is really the only option when you're on the wrong side of the size. I get it, you know, I'm straight. I'm money, you know, I get it, you know, I'm straight. I'm money, you know, I get it, you know, I'm straight. I'm money, you know, I'm I'm money, you know, I'm straight. I'm money, Miracic comes in for Doug McDermott. He smells back in for Bumpa. And it's Brooks. It's Zubi, I ain't yeah, no my damn name. Hey, it's Zubi, I lead it out of Zub gang. Hey, it's Zubi, I ain't no my damn name. As you mentioned, the Knicks are very shy of going to the rim last year. Last year, really could have used that dynamic uh, among the, a lot of things to their game. Yeah, and no doubt about it. I mean, think about this. The Knicks were last in the league in drive for the team. So they struggled shooting when they did attack the rim. Yeah. And I began bands in the Sammy. Pretty wild and my niggas won the Grammy. We ain't saying 30 deep like the Stampede. Oh yeah, I'm in the middle of the candy, baby. Hey, I'm not even on it. Why would I put the ball thing that way here? I'm gonna throw that one on uh on our boy on our Drew Archer maybe. Bulls front office surprised a lot of people by holding, including yourself. Yeah, you know, it's not something that you yeah, see often. The winning coach at odds with his GM and president. With how often their differences came up, oh, you know, something was afoot. 106 left in the first quarter. Here's old Quinn. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. This past season. Uh, some saw it coming, but still, I, I think surprising given the level of success he had. His imprint is all over this Bulls team and the way they approach the game. And when you look at how Thibs got fired, I mean, there are a lot of reasons why a coach can be let go. I mean, he didn't have any performance issues, but apparently class in some form or fashion with the front office. Sometimes that's all it takes to be asked to go somewhere else. Now here's Brooks. Not a lot of room. Snell. And it's good as this day on the bench Brooks. It's like my best going to be. Smells. Got his first two points of the game. 
and doing a great job here just stringing together solid possessions as they build that lead. Tell you, there's no substitute for consistency, Greg. You know that, I know it. Oh. You can stay in control of the game. They'll stay in control of if they simply stay good with their execution of the game plan and don't waste any possessions. From deep, Brooks. Pujic <laughs> grabs the miss. Williams attacking. And so the first quarter is in the books. It's Chicago leading by seven. Let's take a quick break now and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Bulls? This is almost like a volleyball game when you watch just how many shots they blocked. So how is it going to keep well, doing How it? about this? A lot of side outs for them the way they swatted shots away. That's a volleyball term, by the way, folks. Okay. Or handball. Right. Or handball. Yeah. Either one of the two. They're knocking a lot away. Yeah. What the hell? Here are the five New York has to start here in the second. Porzingis is out there with Robin Lopez. Then there's a foul. Then it's Anthony. And it's Calderon in at the point. But they recover it. There's Rose with the three. Oh, Rose, Rose can't get that one to fall. You can't get in a much better position for the three than that. Everything was right on target. It just didn't fall. around a minute gone here in the second quarter. And Paul Gasol, the bucket on the assist by Rose. I'm not going to shoot these dead dudes. Gasol's got to lead up to seven now for the Bulls. Boy, for the Knicks last season, saying it was rough is an understatement. There was a lot of turbulence, and some of it was due to their defense. They just had a difficult time stringing together stops and cutting down opponent scoring chances. Rose kicks it to Noah. Another one falls for Chicago. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Here's Persingas. And Walton is going to need the call. So they have the basket there anyway. He got there late, but you do have to like the aggressiveness to go after the block. But that one's going to count. Miracic is checked in for Noah. Grant, he's checked in for the Knicks. What? Rose Cannon. Like so. Over the Knicks last season, Greg, the defense and problem so for him, specifically how they defended against perimeter shots, and in particular, the three. 38%, Kevin, of the threes yeah. against them went in. That was by far the worst in the league, and it's a big reason why they will end the year with the worst margin of victory in the NBA. How about minus 9.3? <laughs> Here's Persingas. And it's blocked by Miracic. And they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot before second violation. Rose attacking. Outside Butler. It's good at this time, the assist from Rose. Butler's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Just trying to get a break in the action to clear some heads here. I mean, they've gone ice cold, and it's not a bad idea to give them a little quick breather. Yeah, they needed the timeout here. They miss shots and, and get themselves back on track. Knicks trail by 10. I'll give a lot of it. You can't shoot anyway. You can't shoot anyway. Here's Calderon. Good job. And so he earns a trip to the line. Officials on the contact, and he'll shoot too. You can't shoot with him. He is. You can't shoot with him. Chicago he'll was as strong as they were to hold this season at home in the United, the United Center. A lot of big wins for him. And despite all the injuries, they go 27 and 14 at home. And that Does he want to assure them of home court in the first round of the playoffs. Kevin Smith, and he's checked in for New York. Now here's Rose. 10-point lead. This is their biggest. Back to Butler. Yeah. And a foul call. Man, come on, man. Quick. Yes. Get my VC here. Get my verse, sir. Remember. Yeah, that's... 